Hey guys, welcome back. JC here, and this is how you add your minimum OSD micro to a soft serial port on your fly controller. Uh, now, why would you want to do this? Uh, well, in the previous videos, I show you how to flash firmware as well as uh, wire everything into your fly controller. But but maybe you are out of UART ports. Uh, maybe you have enough or too many devices connected as it is, or maybe you have a fly controller with the CP2102 driver and UART number one is tied into the USB. So UARTs two and three are already taken and you don't want to add it onto UART one. In that case, let's just use a soft serial. Uh, what is a soft serial? It's basically, uh, it's gonna be on your input pins that normally your receiver goes to, but it can be configured to act as a UART, a slower UART. But for an on-screen display, it's still plenty fast enough. So how do you do this? Unfortunately, I do have that video showing you how to uh, use the pass-through through your flag controller to go back into the uh, MWOSD GUI to make all of your setting changes without having to disconnect this. But I, to this day, I still haven't figured out how to use the Arduino program. So you will have to remove your uh, minimum OSD micro from your build and reconnect this CP2102 driver or a serial converter breakout board, wherever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my computer. And if you have not yet watched the uh, video where I show you how to flash firmware, go ahead and watch that because you do need to, you know, flash firmware and everything. I will not be covering everything that I covered in this video. The only thing I'm going to cover is uh, the one change we have to make. What we are looking for is the serial speed settings right here. Uh, now because we were placing this on a soft serial port it can't handle the baud rate of 115,200 so we have to turn that off and then come down here to 19,200 and turn that on by deleting those slashes. Hey guys, I'm editing this video and by the end of this video it wasn't working so I had to go back and catch my mistake and it's right here. Not only do you have to set the baud rate to 19,200 but you also have to set the MSP speed to low. Uh, make sure you set it to low or it's not going to work. Now back to your program. And that's it. So go ahead and upload. Or like I said, that's the only change we're making in this video. Uh, I show you in the other video how to completely set this up. Okay, once it's done, we're just going to close this and disconnect it. Okay, now let's talk about how to wire it. I have it wired exactly like I do in the last video where I show you how to wire it, except there's only one difference this transmit and receive instead of it running to the transmit and receive on a UART port I have it run to the pins on the soft serial port now this is going to be in a different location on every flight controller and not all flight controllers have soft serial ports uh, in this example I'm using the Raymate RC Seriously Dodo and it has soft serial number one located on channels five and six of the input pins and then soft serial 2 was on channels 7 and 8. On the SP Racing Mini, you have one soft serial located on the signal pins for channels 7 and 8. The NAS32 is going to be just like the Dodo, uh, soft serial 1 on 5 and 6, 2 on 7 and 8. The X Racer F303 is once again the same, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. Uh, that's for the version 2.1. If you have the uh, 3.1 you only get one soft serial on 5 and 6. Now I, I could keep going on and on but I'm not. Uh, you may have to do some research to find the location of your soft serial ports and like I said not all flight controllers have them. The next thing you need to know is because these uh, transmit and receive wires are going to the soft serial this means well, which is on the input pins this means you cannot use a PWM receiver uh, those types of receivers that use one wire per channel, it's not going to work. I know, and it's not because we were using two of the eight input pins, it's because in beta flight or clean flight, once you try to enable soft serial, it's not going to let you if you have PWM enabled. Uh, now you're probably going to ask me, well, uh, so you showed me where the transmit and receive pins are, but which ones are they? Honestly, I don't know. I just just place them on. If it doesn't work, then flip-flop the wires. It's not going to damage anything if you have them wired wrong. 
Now let's plug in a USB and go into Betaflight or CleanFlight, whichever one you have the minimum OSD micro set up for. And if we go to ports, we won't see any soft serials because we don't have it enabled yet. So go to configuration and you want to scroll down and enable soft serial. But like I said, uh, just a couple tips. Uh, you cannot use a PWM receiver and soft serial at the same time. It will not allow you. So if we try to save, it's not going to save. Set it here. Like I said, you can just set PPM. Uh, either one of those types of receivers will work. So let's save and reboot. Now make sure it's saved. Okay, it's saved. Okay, now we want to go to ports and now we see the soft serials. Uh, because I put my transmit and receive wires on soft serial 2, I want to come here under data and turn on the data for that soft serial. Next, because we dropped the baud rate to 19,200, also select it here, and that's it. Save and reboot. At this point you should now be done, uh, so you just want to go back and test it. If you have the transmit and receive wires on the wrong pins, then you will get an on-screen display, but you won't get any data, uh, meaning that your voltage won't be working. As you can see here, I'm testing my throttle. Uh, the artificial horizon is working. I can arm and disarm. If none of that's working, then switch the transmit and receive wires. And that does it for this video. Make sure you check out the Minim OSD Micro playlist. The link is left for you in the description below. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.